Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching and thank you for letting me through, thank you. Right, hey, how are we all doing? Are we all okay? Good. I'm hoping you all said yes to that. If you said no, then let me know why you're not okay. <laughs> um, today is Thursday for me and uh, we've got a little bit of a special assignment to do today. We are still doing the bolt bags and we still have the curtain sided trailer on but I don't think we're going to a builder's merchant. So I think we're going, well, actually, I don't really know where we're going, to be honest with you. We, uh, we've got to go to Newport in Wales, uh, drop off, um, it's a multi drop, we've got to drop off 20 bags there, then go to Bristol and drop off 10 bags there. That's all I know so far, I don't know whereabouts. Um, I've got postcodes, um, but no actual addresses. Uh, the Bristol postcode takes me to the train station, um, or a train station, so that could be interesting. Um, and the uh, car Newport one, not car, I was going to say Cardiff then, the Newport one just takes me to a random street. So they could both be interesting because they're, they're not builders merchants. So I'm going to try and get as much footage as I can. And um, apparently tomorrow I've got to do a couple more runs to the same Bristol place. So once we do today, then tomorrow we, um, we should know where we're going basically. But yeah, we're in a bit of a rush this morning. Uh, we was in the yard for half past six. Uh, which is late anyway, but um, I don't have to get loaded until seven o'clock. So I was in the yard at half past six, and uh, I couldn't get out. There was a lorry blocking me. Someone decided to park a lorry in a stupid position, and uh, it resulted in me having to try and find the keys for the lorry to actually be able to get out. So that's, uh, I messed up my morning. Like I said, I was supposed to be at South Cerny for seven o'clock. It's currently, just gone five past seven. I mean, we're only around the corner, so we're not massively late. We're about 10 minutes later than what I'd want to be. But uh, it's still annoying, because I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be held up all morning. Um, I've got to go get some fuel and some AdBlue before I go to Car uh, Newport. I keep saying Cardiff! Why don't, oh! Yeah, I've got to go get some fuel and some AdBlue, mainly AdBlue. Um, I am empty on AdBlue, and I keep getting a uh, check fuel supply message come up on my screen. And top up AdBlue. So, um, that's annoying because if I didn't need to go and get that, then I'd be coming back this way uh, through Monsbury and onto the M4 that way. But because I've got to go get fuel and add blue, and there's only one place that we get it, uh, and that's uh, off the A419. So uh, I've got to go the A419 basically, and then get on the M4 at junction 15. Anyway, that's besides the point. <laughs> right, we're loaded. Let's get out of here. We need to go get some fuel still, and uh, add blue. So that's what we need to crack on and do now before we actually really start making our way. It's still quite foggy out. It's uh, 20 past eight in the morning. Uh, so <laughs> it's quite, it's not like mega late. I'm not in a mega rush because it's not that far away, I do think. It's only like an hour and a half away. To, to where we're going in Wales. So it's not the end of the world. But um, obviously I don't know how long it's gonna to take to unload, whether I've got to wait or anything like that. And um, I've got to make another delivery to Bristol as well. I've checked both places and I'm gonna, if I remember, I'm gonna put a screenshot of both of them up on the, uh, on the screen now. So they're, um, they're basically both train stations I've got to deliver to. The postcodes I was given yesterday, one of them for the, for the Wales one was incorrect by one letter. So uh, I've obviously put it in and it comes out of some random house estate and I'm like, what? Um, but it turns out they, they sent me the wrong postcode. So this morning I put it in with the new postcode that I've been given. And um, yeah, they're both train stations. So that'd be interesting. The one in Wales that we're going to, looks like there's three different ways in. And I've had a look and I think I got to take the middle one, I think but I'm probably gonna try and park up somewhere just outside, walk up and actually have a look. Um, the Bristol one, uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, I think I might have to go round and come down from the other side, I'm not sure, but I've got a contact number for the Bristol one, so I can give them a call on the way. I'm gonna sneeze, hang on. <laughs> there we go, <laughs> bless me. Um, so yeah, I got a contact for the Bristol branch, so that's not the end of the world. It's just the Wales one, which is going to be slightly worrying, and it does look like I've got to go through a small house in the state to uh, 
to get to the uh, train station. And from experience, train stations, the roads are not always the best, especially when they're called station roads. So we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, let's go grab some uh, ad blue and then we can uh, crack on with the day. The seasons come and go like thoughts of you. Like a wave returns to the sea into the blue. They change, but in a cycle that I can't lose. Each painful but delightful to live through. You came into my life just like another season. Not for long, just a time Just like another season Maybe this time So here we are getting fuel We're on 50 litres now already We won't need much in here so It's already set up It's ad blue I need Right, let's get some ad blue. Right, pump five. Thank you. Add blue. Oh, that's a lot quieter. That is not how many litres I put in. It already says 85 on the on the thing. It says 85 litres on the, um, I'll show you. I've literally just put it in there. It said 85 to begin with. So we'll have to remember, uh, well, whatever it says in, the, in, the second, in a second, we'll just take away 85, then we know how much we put in. But I don't hold, much, it's only like a 30 litre tank, so that's 95, 105, 115. It shouldn't go any higher than 115. We're on 95 now. There we go, cut out 112. So, got to remember 112. Take away 85. That's that done. Du, 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 du. Right, so where's my keys? One hundred and twelve take away eighty five. Is 27. So we put 27 litres in. So that's that done. We also need to put in the postcode where we're going. In the sat now, sorry. Where we're going. So let's do that. Let's go. 1019 is what it's saying now. So we should be there for 20 past 10. Fingers crossed, we got fuel, we got uh, add blue. It's no longer popping up saying check fuel supply like it did this morning. In fact, it didn't even say it on the way here. So um, we're all good. We're gonna crack on and uh, I'll get a little bit of footage of the road on the way going across the bridge and things like that. So uh, I'll see you when we're in Wales. Season. Well, as far as you've just seen, we've uh, gone over the Severn Bridge. The weather, 
really good today. I said I had a feeling it was going to be nice. We went through some fog patches going through Shippenham on the M4, or just before Shippenham, I think. Um, it went all dark and it was quite foggy all of a sudden, so that was weird. Got some footage of that. But um, yeah, we're on the M4. We're just about to come off the M4 onto, I, I believe, the A4810. We're going to go do Caldicott. Is that how you say it? Caldicott? I don't know. Caldicott, I don't know. Anyway, we, um, I phoned the guy and just asked for a little bit of direction on the way in. Because um, looking on the map, on Google Maps, um, there looks to be, uh, once you get to the train station, there looks to be three different routes, as I've said already. I assumed you'd take the middle route, the one in the middle, because it looked like it swept round into a yard of some sort. Uh, but he's saying to take the left one, go through the train station car park, and then um, there's a compound on the end. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we've been told to do, so that's what we're going to do. The same guy is the guy who's dealing with the Bristol stuff as well, so um, I need to phone him up again afterwards. Just confirm where I'm going in Bristol, because it's the Bristol one I'm the most worried about. Because um, it's a bigger train station, and if I go in the wrong way, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get round or not. So I might need to take then a long way around. So we'll, uh, we'll phone him just before we leave to find out for sure. He said something about going to a bridge and turning left for this one. And I said, I'm looking at the map and I can't see a bridge. He said that it's a new one, it's, it won't be on the bridges. Uh, it won't be on the map, it's a new bridge. Slow, children. Uh, it was 10 o'clock, so I imagine children will be in school, but I will just be careful, just in case. Um, we're, th we're still three miles away, so we're not uh, that close yet. We've got to go down a lot of roads now like this. So. Uh, I'll speed up the footage and I'll see you when we're a little bit closer. You came into my life Just like another season Not for long, just a time Just like another season Right, we're just over a mile away now, so we're nearly here. Nearly, nearly here. On the map, I was wondering whether this bridge was going to be big enough, and it's obviously plenty big enough, so that's good. And uh, I think we're about to go down Station Road, which is... Um, it, it could be tight, I'm not sure. Depends on where cars are parked. I I think it looks okay on the map, but we'll, we'll soon find out. Anyway, when I spoke to this person, he said that the telehander is called Neil. So I need to find someone called Neil when I get there. He said he's going to let him know and come up and meet me, but I doubt that very much. Hopefully he will be, but we'll see. Right, so we're taking a right turn up here. We'll indicate right. We'll let him come out as well. Wheat bridge ahead, nice. Well, this is the way I've been told to come in. And there's a 25 ton bridge ahead. And I'm 44 turn. I'm hoping that the bridge in question I won't be going over. He said go to the station and go through the park. I'm starting to worry now. I'm starting to worry because of that bridge. Nothing was said about a weak bridge. Nothing was, nothing's been said on the sat nav about a bridge. Ah, I see the bridge. That bridge is the middle entrance. Do you remember I said there's three ways in? And I think I have to go the middle way. That's the bridge. 
that I'm too heavy for. Anyway, he said go left. This is where I started getting some looks from people. Oh. Well, no one is up here waiting for me, so that's a great start. I didn't expect them to be waiting for me. Go straight through the car park and it's down the end, is what he said. Ah, there's people down here, so this is looking good. Not sure how I'm going to get out yet. Right, looks like we could be in the right place. I think. He's telling me to stop though. I've got nowhere to turn around by the looks of it. Could be fun. Right, so, there's nowhere to turn around. I'm gonna have to reverse all the way back out when I wanna leave. And uh, all these cars are people who's actually on the train, so none of these cars are getting moved. and I just broke a light. No, that's right. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, I've just destroyed a light. Mate boy's telling me to uh, keep coming forward and I've destroyed a light, but never mind. Right, uh, see you in a bit. So uh, yeah, he's asked me to get really tight to uh, down here. You can just see how tight I'm about to get. And he's telling me to come forward and he hasn't noticed that that's there. So uh, that got smashed by the, uh, well, I don't know what hit it. So I'm gonna have to check the damage on the cab. I couldn't see it. Uh, and as a banksman, he should have told me to stop.
so we've got a small problem um, there's just not enough room down here and he can't reach the bags on the back so he wants to take the front bags off I said well you can take the front bags off if you want but the back bags then need to be moved to the front I said I can't drive to Bristol with bags on the ass end of the trailer it needs to be at the front why is that? I was telling him, it's like, if they support me, they'd do me. Um, I said, i got to have the load up to the front of the trailer. That's a legal requirement, as far as I'm aware, anyway. So, uh, yeah, they've, uh, they're having to use some rope, by the looks of it, just to try and uh, get the bags off. I've got a train about to overtake, look. very active train line that we're at and uh, oh here we go look they're, uh, they're trying to pull it off now see how it goes not looking good and the uh, the other bad thing is I mean I should be helping them but there's three of them there so don't need more than three people the other thing is I need to go find somewhere to turn around they said there's room down here to turn around where I come through in the car park but um I don't think there is so that's what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna go see if I can find somewhere I can turn around in possibly Just trying to have a look. It's looking like I might need to reverse down there on the left. And then try and drive out. Ah oh, man, that's gonna be very tight. The other option is reversing all the way out. So the other option is where with the, the three lanes split off. There's that bridge. So the option is I could reverse out of here and do a very tight turn to get the trailer to go down that one. That is, it's possible, but before I'm gonna be able to even turn, the trailer's gonna be somewhere here. Nah, it's gonna be way too tight, I think. Well, it looks like I could possibly reverse into there. going to be the best bet. Reverse into there and then drive out. Right, so just while we're waiting for the guys to, uh, to lock up, I do actually have some messages from uh, from my mates, so got one from Kevin. Good morning, Mr. C, and good morning, Mr. C's viewers. Hope you're doing well. Just want to leave a little message to uh, wish you good luck on your numerous trips down to Wales. Hope it all goes well. Just the one trip. I'm currently sat in a sunny Southampton, ejecting my load all over the docks, making a little bit of a mess. Anyway, have a good day, and I will chat to you again soon. Bye bye. So uh, Kevin's ejecting his load all over the docks. Uh, got one from Jay. What's Jay's foot? Good thing, you wonderful road legends. How are you all? I've just got up. It is 11.46 local time. And I had a few drinks last night. I'm not hungover though, so it's all good. Hope you have a good day. <laughs> so that's Trucker Jay. He's, um, I think he's in Spain or something at the moment. Uh, and Scott Andrews, I'm in, I'm in Wales, and we got a Welsh guy leaving me a message. Let's see what he's got to say. Hey yo, everybody, how's it going? You're watching Mr. L to the U to the K to the E to the N H T V. Ooh, yeah, that feels good. Make sure you tune in and subscribe to this guy. He's cool. <laughs> oh, by the way, Luke, you better not be putting sheep noises over this now, otherwise I'd be very disappointed in you. <laughs> yeah. 
to put some sheep noises on it. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> that's um, Kevin, Jay, and Scott there leaving some uh, leaving some messages for me. We have a little group. We just talk every now and then. Right, so the um, where the road splits off into three areas, which we saw earlier. They're saying if I go, if I drive forward down the right-hand side one, I'll um, I should be able to turn around in there. Looks like he's letting me go first. Right, so apologies if I am quiet during this stage, but obviously I've got to concentrate. Just trying to think of my head. Yeah, I'm going to have to go to the left. good just trying to keep nice and tight to the left We've got pedestrians and a car coming down. Should be able to get past that car. Now the car's reversing up. There's the first speed bump.
Yeah, or bank. Now I've got to follow him up here. Where there should be someone to turn around. That's what he's saying. Ah, yeah, lots and lots and lots of room. Might have been easier just to turn around here and then um, reverse on down. Cheers, bud. I'll see you there. So, uh, yeah, we're all going to the same place now. We're all off to Bristol. I thought it'd be a different gang now. Exactly the same gang. Uh, the only difference is they're getting there twice as quick as me. Um, they're saying I'm saying 20 minutes for them, whereas they're saying 40 minutes for me. So uh, that's the only difference. What I am going to do is obviously I can't drive all the way with my dash, uh, with my GoPro facing outwards off the door. So I hope you've enjoyed it. But this now has to come off. Uh, and it looks like I'm going to have to get out of it. So I hope you've enjoyed this view. There we go. And now, once I get my seatbelt on, we can carry on and head to Bristol. Thirty-eight minutes has sat now the so a little, little under 40 minutes, hopefully we can get there a little bit quicker than that. I know exactly where I'm going, because uh, well, the guys I've just been with are going there, and they've been there before, so they told me exactly which compound I need to go to. So it should be very easy. Um, and I've only got 12 bags on as well, so it shouldn't take too long to get offloaded. Um, I need to work out what time I got here and let her head office know because they're on my case today they want to know where I am and when I'm there and how long the things are taking and all of us so I need to when I get to Bristol I've had no signal here to check here so when I get to Bristol I need to write down everything that, that lorry down there has not left me an awful lot of room to get past hmm let me see if I can get past this lorry Now it's just a case of getting out of this junction. That car. That car here to the right of me slowed down to let me through, let me out, but the car behind him decided to try and overtake anyway and then gave the car a dirty look for slowing down in the middle of the road. The car couldn't turn left because my trailer was in her way. So she slowed down to let me out, but the car behind didn't want to slow down so uh, that could nearly cause an accident never mind all right uh, <laughs> this is a long old vlog this is isn't it let's crack on um, and I'll see you at Bristol right so we are nearly here now in Bristol just around the corner I've actually the guys that we're uh, meeting up with overtook me uh, they beat their orders they had to get overtaken me um, so I was gonna follow them in but they've gone a different way and I've had it set up on my sat nav to go this way so it was too late for me to change lanes, so I undone the window. Undone the window, and I said, um, I'm going this way. And he said, are you sure? It takes a little bit longer. It's like, well, it's too late now, I'm in the wrong lane. So that's the way I'm going. Uh, someone's calling me. They call they've called me twice today already. <laughs> Wayne, if you're watching, uh, I called them back uh, when I could, <laughs> no answer. And uh, now they're calling me back again while I'm vlogging. That's very nice of them. So yeah, someone said there was um, 
bus lanes or something the other way so and it looks like i have to go through the car park again the train station car park whereas this way it looks like i'm coming in through the back um so it just looks easier we're only three quarters of a mile away now it's just around the corner so gotta go left at this roundabout straight over at the next there's a bridge down there so i can't go straight over this roundabout i'm too tall for that bridge I am 4.2 metres and that's a 4.0 metre bridge. So we need to go left here. We need to go right at the next one. And then according to my sat nav we will be entering a weight limited area. But it's where we need to be. Train station parkway. Turn right. So this could be the bus lane, I don't know. They said something about a bus lane, bus only or something. And it is purple on my uh, sat nav, so I might be going down a bus lane. I hope not, because there will be a fine involved for that. There is a dead end sign. This is not looking good! This dead end sign does not look nice. So sh that, that's where we're going there. Is it this left? I think it's this left here. Yeah, site access, doesn't appear to be any security, and this also looks like quite a tight left-hand turn. There's the guys there, look. Ah, oh, wow, a lot of smoke coming up behind me. Let's close my windows a sec while that settles. Oh, look at all that smoke, look. Right, I need to go and say hello to people. Right, so uh, we're now tipped in Bristol. Um, they tipped me, uh, I'd done my curtain up, then, drove, then got into my driver's seat uh, to grab my paperwork from my dash, went to go give it to him, and uh, they'd gone. So they've gone and they haven't signed my paperwork, so I've just phoned their office up and told them that there's no answer, so I've just left a message. Um, but they told me, the guys unloaded me, they told me they're here tomorrow anyway. So um, I'll just have to get them to sign it tomorrow. But it's just a bit weird how they haven't signed the paperwork. But uh, never mind. Anyway, we're off to Bristol. Uh, not off to Bristol. We're off to Cerny now to get reloaded for tomorrow morning. And then we come back up here tomorrow. But at least I know exactly where I'm going. Um, if I get here nice and early, I can just park up outside. So that's cool. So yeah, we're now uh, now heading back to get reloaded for the morning. So there's no point showing much. Nothing else to see really. So. I'm going to thank you all for watching this video. Thank you very much to everybody who uh, has watched this video all the way through. It could be a long one, I'm not sure. But uh, I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, until next time, drive safe. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.